What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. If you guys are new here and you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button for me. Hit that notification bell as well so you guys know when I upload any brand new videos. If you guys are enjoying the content also, make sure you hit the like button for me. And of course, flood the comment section down below. So, check this out guys. About a week and a half ago, my brother hits me up and he's like, Hey, I'm going to send you a package. You're going to like it and you're going to do a video on it. I was like, all right, bet. And uh, about a couple days ago, we got that package in and I completely forgot that he was sending me something. So when I opened it up, I got this. Um, I didn't know what the heck this was. So when I started inspecting it more, taking a look at it, we ended up getting one of these guys. You all see that? This is a freaking bait mold. My brother sent me a bait mold. It's sick. It is a four inch fluke. And you guys know I love my fluke. So uh, shout out to you, buddy. I appreciate it. And uh, you're right. We like it. And we're going to do a video on it today. So. That is going to be the purpose of today's video. We are going to be making some flukes. And of course, behind the camera, well, I'm holding it, but she's over here. Hi, guys. Goat is with us today, so she's going to be helping us doing these uh, flukes. Now, these are a single cavity mold, so it's going to take us a little longer to kind of get some of the baits pumped out. It's not like the worms or the paddle tails where we can just shoot them and you have like four or five like right away. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit slower than normal, but we're going to knock it out, guys. So we're going to get everything ready on the bench and we're gonna hop on the GoPro and we start making these baits you guys enjoy all right guys we got everything set up here on the bench um, I know as I stated this is a one cavity mold so uh, we're not gonna go heavy on the plastisol because normally you know we always put about a cup in it and we always have a lot left over so we're gonna try to avoid that uh, probably use maybe like half a cup and uh, just see where we go uh, from there but we're gonna go with uh, traditional white, you know, can't go wrong with a white fluke. We're gonna add a little bit of silver flake and some black flake in these. And we're probably gonna make a few more uh, colors um, in this video, but yeah, I think that's about it. So we're gonna let Goat pour the Plastisol into our Pyrex cup and we'll just start the process. You guys know the drill. We'll make, uh, we'll make maybe one or two on film for you guys and the rest we'll just make off camera and just show you and then when we hop into the new color, we'll show you guys that as well. So not really sure what we're going to make on the other ones. Maybe some green pumpkin. Maybe. I think Who knows? Good. You good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we got Just our stuff. Now, um, we're probably going to have to cut down like our cook times in this. So because you guys remember the very first time we did this together, uh, we threw this in for like three minutes. Ah, yeah, that wasn't good. So maybe probably... 45 seconds? We'll do this for a minute. Go from there. So, it's a little better. Again, until I can get another bench uh, built over there. We're kind of stuck doing this, so I know it sucks, but yeah, I think this is good. We heat it up for about a minute 45, so there you go. I get to add it? Sure. How many drops do you think? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, Maybe like, like three. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> three. Jesus Christ. You three didn't bottles. Say how big. Three <laughs> bottles. We'll add three bottles into it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, too. So, we haven't been doing this in any of the baits, but we grabbed some salt. Um, after watching some videos and, and kind of doing a little research, people are adding a little bit of salt in some of their plastics when they make them because it helps um, add a little weight to uh, to the bait itself. So I'm gonna try it. Um, hopefully we don't add like too much. I don't wanna I'll let you make it. it uh, so you don't, I don't yeah. wanna do it. I don't wanna just make it too brittle, but I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't know what, uh, again, we're still new to this, guys. This is like our what, fourth video, fifth video, I don't know. We're learning. This is all a learning process, so. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't breathe that in. Mm -mm. It's no point now. So, all right. I think we're ready for some glitter. Actually, maybe let's add some salt. Oh, and I finally got a little, little teaspoon, guys, for us. So, yeah. Yeah, this stuff does freaking reek. I can't smell it. Good. You I think I've stayed smell. far enough away from it where I all can't. All right. We did a uh, half a half a teaspoon of salt. I don't know if I need more, I don't know if I need less. If you guys know, or if you guys are familiar with making baits, you know how much to put in, let me know, cause I don't, uh, I don't. So, let's add a little bit of silver. Ugh, freaking hate glitter. 
All right, so we'll do a little half of, watch out there. Okay. Right. Half a teaspoon of, that's actually, I don't know, that might be a lot. What are you doing? Holding this over so you can get it. You just left it in there. You don't have to stir it right now. Do you think we should add black still too, or just Absolutely. silver? Absolutely, we'll do some black. We're not gonna add a bunch of black though. Just a little? Yeah. Maybe like. Oh, that's a lot. No, it's not. I didn't even overreacting. <laughs> it's a lot. She pours three bottles of white in it, <laughs> and me putting a quarter of half a teaspoon in there is was a lot. So we'll heat this up for uh, maybe another 35 seconds, and then I think we should be ready to shoot these. Oh, that's okay. So we do have uh, the first mold shot in. Um, it is gonna be a little difficult, guys, because we're so used to pushing um, a lot more plastic salt into a, a bigger, um, like a dual or multi-cavity mold. And so this is kind of a not as much sticks. Yeah, so we we're learning, we're learning. So it's spilling out the side. Nah, that's okay. I don't care about that. It's supposed to. So we're gonna let this cure uh, for about ten minutes, and then we'll get back to the open it and see how it looks, and then we'll start shooting the rest of them. All right, guys, so we're going to, it looks like it's been cured. We're going to get the mold checked out. Hopefully it came out good. Fingers um, crossed. Yeah, you can just open it up. You don't have to open, open it? Up. Okay. Yeah, just pull from the middle apart. Ooh. There we go. I think we put too much salt, maybe. You think so? Yeah, it's really dry. Well, they look good, at least. <laughs> Why are you showing the phone? Oh <laughs> my god. You guys, we have so we have the phone here so we can kind of see what's going on. She's over here showing the um, phone the baits instead of the GoPro. There. Yeah. It just feels like feel it. It feels yeah. like we put just a hair too much salt. Yeah. Kind of dried it out. I didn't think these were this freaking small. There is these are almost like little drop shot baits. Like I don't even know if we can actually use these, unfortunately. Um you might. Be I able can't to. even. I can't even throw these. These these have to be like a drop shot bait. Is what it looks like because these are. I mean, well, this is uh this is part of the part of the process, guys. So we'll shoot a few more. Uh, we'll get a few more going. See what we can do. Like I said, we'll probably shoot most of these off camera. Maybe we'll show a couple. But when we come back to you guys, we should have a few more made, and then we'll maybe start another color. And we can kind of learn from there, so we don't have them come out uh, <laughs> as as uh, funky as this one. So we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we just pulled our second batch out here. We're gonna try to pour this in here. Hopefully, this comes out a little better. Yeah, like I feel like I barely put anything in this. Again, we will let this one cure um, and just see how this comes out. Hopefully, a little better than our first one. I kind of tweaked a little bit of stuff, added a little more plastisol. I think we may be okay. And then uh, we'll just we'll just start cranking some out for you guys, and then we'll start on a new color. All right, guys. So we got done with uh, as much as we could on the white flukes. Like I said, man, with it being a one cavity uh, mold, it is very time consuming. This probably took us close to an hour to make five. So it does kind of suck when it comes to that. But um, we got them done. You know, we got five here. I'll show you just how big they are. Um, that is them again this may be something that's going to be super finesse i found a little three out worm hook so you can kind of see how that looks here this is compared to a regular um five inch fluke so you can kind of see the difference in these and they're not bad i mean they're they're freaking awesome and i want to use them it's just i don't know how i'm going to use them just because there's no weight um, behind them so maybe a drop shot something like that we'll figure it out but we are going to make another color um we decided since this does kind of take a lot of time and you know we don't know how often we're going to use these uh we're going to break into some of the older um i guess plastisol that we used mm -hmm. some of that green pumpkin with the orange and black flake um, and we were wanting to do this color anyways for a fluke. So we're just going to go ahead and cut this up, break it down into another Pyrex cup, and um, just shoot this color. Maybe we'll add uh, something to it. I don't know. But uh, as of now, like, this is kind of really what we wanted. So we're going to cut this up, get in the Pyrex, heat it up, and start shooting some more. And just as always, we'll uh, 
we'll show you like the first couple of them and then we'll shoot the rest off camera and uh, we'll show you the end result. So let's get to it. All right, so we uh, we got our green pumpkin, um, I guess extra plastic saw cut up. I'm gonna throw a little bit of extra plastic saw in it just to kind of help melt down uh, this old stuff here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hopefully get something good out of this. We're not gonna put too much in there, just enough to kind of get it. God, this stuff is such a freaking mess. But yeah, we're gonna get enough in there just to be able to heat up and get it melted down. We'll put it in there for a minute um, and just see what that does. Um, it may kind of alter the color a little bit just because we added that extra plastic salt to it. But nonetheless, if we need to, we can, you know, we can always add some more uh, watermelon to it or maybe a little black to kind of darken it up. Since this is a darker color and we haven't really used this, we, remember we got the um, the scents, the little oil scents from uh, Do It Molds. So we have like the grape shad. So we're probably gonna throw some of that in there just so it has a little bit of scent to it for whatever reason, just to use it, you know? So we'll get that this. interesting green? Yeah. It kinda looks like Gerber, like mashed peas for babies. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna let this heat up, melt down some, add our stuff, and we'll start shooting. So, yeah, give us a moment. All right, we got our plastic saw heated up. Cool emails. You guys can check this out. You guys can see that color there. Doesn't look bad at all. Came out pretty good. We take this out, use that maybe as like a little drop shot bait or, um, um, you know, some maybe a trailer. We can use it as a trailer on maybe like an underspin or whatever we can figure out um, how to use it but you know we're trying to figure out what we can do with these so let's go and shoot this into our mold here again we don't need a lot because again this is just a one cavity mold so like right there it's done and I barely pushed it down so that's really all it takes and again I mean, this is still, even with what we added, plus the recycled plastisol, um, we still used only half a cup. So it's, uh, it's really not bad. It's kind of easier for us to maybe just use a lot of that recycled stuff. Now, if you guys want to see a video of us just making um, baits out of old plastics um, or even all that stuff, just break stuff down, remake new stuff, let us know in the comments. I'll go and find, I, I know I have a bunch of lures laying in the back of my Jeep. I got a bunch of lures in the back of the kayak. I got a bunch of lures just laying out, just soft plastics that. It's like eight colors over there yeah. that just are extra. We just, we just have a bunch of extra soft plastics, like, well, not extra, but just like stuff that um, got ripped or broken during fishing that we just, we just tossed and we haven't tossed the trash. So we just start collecting old stuff and uh, make plastic out of it. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. I'll uh, I'll do a video on that. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah, let me let this cure and we will open it up on camera for you guys, see how it turned out, and then we'll maybe do another one. And then of course, make some more off camera. So we'll be right back with you. All right, guys, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and check out our little lure here. See how this came out in the green pumpkin color. So we'll do our little traditional uh, opening the cavity for you guys first hopefully it turned out good you guys see that that look okay Ooh. oh that actually doesn't look bad at all that looks really good oh yeah i'm a big fan of that one over the white one. Oh yeah this came that out looks awesome yeah oh, this actually yeah. came out really good Perfect. yeah there's no shine to it but nonetheless that is a really nice color so uh yeah so we're gonna make a few more off camera for you guys and then uh that'll probably be it for the video but uh we'll show you guys everything at the end so Let's go make some more. All right, guys, so we finished our flukes finally. Um, again, this is very time consuming being only a one cavity freaking mold, but we got through with it. Uh, we did five each. Um, here's our little green pumpkin one with the orange and black flake. If you guys can see that, hopefully that's showing up in the light there. But I mean, that really came out good. I do like that. Again, um, I've said it already, they are really small. And they, with a comparison to what a regular fluke is you guys can see that's just i mean there's a huge difference there so um but doesn't mean we can't use these guys i gotta just figure out a good way to utilize these and get them out in the water and maybe catch some fish with them so um again drop shot 
maybe I can I can throw it weightless um, or use it as a trailer. So we'll figure it out. But I'm excited to use these. These are actually awesome. Um, again, James, uh, thank you. James is my brother. If you guys hadn't figured that out, but yeah, these are freaking awesome. So that is probably gonna wrap it up. Let me uh, let me do some stuff here. We'll hop on the big camera and close the video out. But hope you guys enjoyed it. guys this is gonna do it for the video today i hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did make sure you smash that like button for me it really helps out the channel and i greatly appreciate it when you guys do it because the more you guys do it the more it puts my videos out there the youtube algorithm for everyone else to see the channel so i would like if you guys did that and if you guys got social media make sure you share the content as well share my videos get let's get it out there let's get a thousand subs this year let's do it by summer let's set that goal maybe thousand subs by summer into summer something like that but at least by the end of the year so anyways guys um i had fun um these little baits these little things right here like these are they're really cool i love flukes you guys know i love the flukes but um, we will find a way to make these work take them out to a pond and hopefully catch some fish on them so yeah, I think that's really about it. Um, we might be doing another bait making video here shortly. Um, we want to kind of fill a tackle box up for goat. She really wants to make a bunch of her own baits, her own colors and her own concoctions and, and just throw them in a box and go fish with them. So I think we're gonna help her do that on a video here soon. So you guys uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. I think it'll be pretty fun. And I think that's it guys, it is late. Um, <laughs> these probably, these probably took about two and a half, three hours just because of how much time they need to cure and with it only being a little one cavity um, mold. But nonetheless, it was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for our love and support. I love you guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.